everyone welcome back to rts and happy international scrapbook day yes now today is sunday so we're going to rinse and repeat exactly what we did on friday and saturday we're going to keep playing in our scrap paper pages we're going to have another giveaway today and then also too at the end of the day i'm going to do something a little special and fun with my leftover scraps so stay tuned for that something fun yes absolutely okay so up for today we're going to have another scrap paper page and what is that is that we're simply taking scraps and we're using them the size they're in to create some fast uh, fabulous pages absolutely and so I'm also listing the measurements below in case you really uh, want to have the exact measurements or a guide you can simply go by that but simply go and just play with your scraps the size they're in and I'll, I'll see I'll show you what I mean with this okay so I have a piece of uh, pal papers so you just grab some that kind of coordinate and do the slap and stick and see look at that tell me that's not a quick page <laughs> Yeah, put a photo on there, a uh, visual triangle. Yeah, slap and stick, baby. So that's what we're doing all weekend long is slap and stick or scrap paper pages. That's what we're doing, okay? But we're going to do something fun. I'm going to show you something fun uh, that I'm going to do, something special I'm going to do with my scraps at the end of this weekend. Yes, because, you know, when you're done playing with your scraps, you know, you might as well do something with them because you're going to have more scraps next week when you do another layout. Yes, so, so I'll put this to the side here. Okay, so up for today is that I'm going to do a layout about my little bro. And so the papers that I'm going to play with today, because these are quick pages, quick videos, because we want to do more than just one layout over the weekend. So I have, again, three pieces of paper. And what are they? A 7.5 by 12, a 7.5 by 12, and a 3 by 12. I mean... That's it, okay? Because they're they were in the size other than the branding strip. So that's what it is. A seven and a half by twelve, a seven and a half by twelve. Or you could use a six by twelve, six by twelve, eight by twelve, nine by twelve, anything. And this was just three. Okay. So I'm simply going to do a fast wallpapering page. And so that's why I have this piece of white cardstock. Now these um this is by Teresa Collins and this is Webster's pages. This is absolutely a Christmas paper. Yes. And I think well this almost looks like Christmas colors. Uh, but um, what I wanted to say is the paperweight is so nice on this that I could just absolutely put this together, put some washi on the back. Okay, that's what the backs look like. And I wouldn't have to put this on a piece of white cardstock. But to, for me, I do this uh, to line it up. Okay, so... <laughs> This is what um, this piece of paper looks like. It's it's not my favorite, and so I just use, I'm going to use it for the back. So I'm going to take this piece of paper and this piece of paper and this piece of paper, and we're going to take these crazy papers, these crazy scraps, and we're going to make a pretty page. Yes. Okay. So my seven and a half by twelve is simply going to go up to the top. My other seven and a half by twelve is going to on the bottom. And why did I do it that way? Only because this Webster's pages. The, the color and the design feels heavier. So it just feels more normal for me to, for that to be on the bottom. And I'm simply going to put this somewhere in the middle. That's it. That's as quick as it's going to be. Uh, because I like the colors of these papers together and they go so well with my photo. I did not have to think twice. Now when I cut the branding strips off of these pieces of paper, um, you can keep them and you can stack these as an extra little embellishment Okay, uh, you can absolutely put the same color on the same color and you get a little decorative element, same color on the same color. And what it is, it just gives you more dimension, but yet it's not uh, introducing another color. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with these branding strips up here at the top, I think, because I'm going to get bottom heavy here. Um, because we're going to do a little something different with our embellishments today, but it's going to be something quick. Okay, so I will just wallpaper all of them to the back. Okay, line that up, and I probably won't break it into even. I'll just somehow just slap it on there. Yeah, okay. So my photo today, <laughs> very, very fun, is uh, my little bro in this little uh, vehicle. He calls it his clown truck, um, but I call it um, his Mr. Miyagi truck. And we just have this joke, and, you know, he'll show me pictures of what he's doing throughout the day and everything. And I'll say, oh, you're in your Mr. Miyagi truck. And he'll say, the clown truck, I say Mr. Miyagi. And so we were talking about this, and so he sent me a photo of it. And so this was one of these um, vehicles that he got. He said it came from Dover International Speedway. He said it was dirt cheap because nobody could fix it. And so he fixed it within two hours, and he loves it so. He says he gets 50 
miles per gallon <laughs> on this little Mr. Miyagi truck. So I'm just, you know, it's just a fun little memory uh, of what we call his Mr. Miyagi truck. Because when he sent me pictures of this, I'm like, oh, Mr. Miyagi, that's what it reminds me of. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So of course, I already did my title. And of course, what did I put? Mr. Miyagi rides again. That's what I'm going to do for my title. Okay. Now, uh, my title is going to go here and it's going to be anchored right above the photo. Okay. Very, very quick. I'm not giving it a lot of thought. Slap and stick <laughs> because I have another page I want to do right after this because that's what scrapbooking for two or three days in a row is. It's not about uh, sitting here spending three days on one page, even though there's nothing wrong with that if that's the season you're in. For me, I just wanted to get several pages done this weekend and so I'm doing them kind of quick okay so of course as I'm doing my two white thickers I run out of a letter I don't have any D's in the small font and so even though these are both white uh, one is a bigger size and one's a smaller size two different font fonts breaks it up and then um, because I just didn't want to introduce another color I don't have green I just did it very very quick so I didn't have any D's so when you don't have any D's uh, and I'm going to put this word here, R-I, okay? And so I thought, okay, what am I going to do, okay? So I thought, well, what I could do, okay, is that I could take a C, okay, and then I could take a number one, and I could, you know, basically, I could, you know, with foam, you can do this with. And I thought, okay, I could probably put them together, um, but I will tell you, I don't think I have good luck when it comes to uh, MacGyvering letters. I just don't think I do a good enough job, okay? But that would pass the smell test. I mean, it would it would be okay, okay? So I thought, well, what I could do is I could take the letter P, I could turn it upside down and give me a lowercase d, and I like that better than the MacGyver. So I wanted to show that. So when you're running out of something, definitely look at your numbers. The Z's uh, are what I always rip apart uh, when I need little hyphens and things. Uh, you could also take a C with a number one and make a D. Um, it looks okay, you know, probably from a distance, but it looks like Play-Doh to me. So, uh, yeah, I never was a big fan of Play-Doh. No. So, I didn't really like that. So, I'm going to do a lowercase. That's what I'm going to do. So, uh, that is going to be my Mr. Miyagi rods again. And of course, now I'm in the mood to watch the Karate Kid. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Isn't it fun just to sit and play and scrapbook with a movie on or somebody talking in the background? You got some chocolate to the side. Oh, yes, that's fun, fun. Okay, so Mr. Miyagi rides again. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so my title is done. So I wanted to show you something different. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what I wanted to do for embellishments this time because sometimes, even though I love the visual triangle, Simple, simple, quick, quick. Sometimes I get a little tired of it. So you could also do a diagonal design so you only have two clusters and running from the you know top left to bottom right or opposite. Okay, so what I thought I would do, since I love this uh, photo right here, it's already, uh, when I printed it, I went ahead and put a border on it so that's quick, quick. And I'm going to put my title up here, Mr. Miyagi Rides Again. So I thought what I would do is I would play with some embellishments. And again, what am I doing? I'm playing with my sticker bin of this right here for the weekend. Okay. And I also have my circle punches, but I haven't even broke them out. You know, I mean, I'm talking about quick pages. I don't even, quick pages, I don't even pull out a punch. I'm just using what I have. And then also I'm playing with my color drawers. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do again, playing with my color drawers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame my photo with embellishments. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do because I've already li basically laid this out. Okay. So I'm taking embellishments, whether they're lump and bump or flat out of my little drawers. Okay. So you could use ephemera and then I'm using stickers and brads and all kinds of things yeah so and I have every I think I got a sneeze <laughs> hold on a minute <sighs> okay Whew, man I'm hot too Whew. and these hot flashes can go about any day now okay uh, I was saying to my husband this morning, so, oh my goodness, it's so hot in here. He's, it's not hot. It's not hot. I'm like, well, you're not a woman. Of course, no, but it's hot. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm under a heat lamp. But anyways, okay, so that's going to go there, okay? Might have to cut that down a little bit. Of course, it's not sticking because, you know. And then I found these brads in my bowl, and this says record. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so that's going to go there. 
and that's going to go there. So what I'm doing is basically I'm going to be, um, do they call it color blocking? I think that's what they used to call it. And so I'm just going to follow the frame of my photo with ephemera, die cuts, embellishments, stickers, dimensional stickers. I don't know if I have any chipboard. Okay. And again, these were all in my um, color drawers there. And uh, what, what did I want to say? They're all my color drawers, so I just simply went by color. I just went by red and green. Yeah, red and green doesn't always have to be for, um, I'll move that up a little bit. Red and green does not always have to be for Christmas, no. So I just picked, um, embellishments that had to, that coincide and emphasize my story and also to about my little bro, okay? And so I wanted to show how to do this. Okay, and it's basically just finding things that fit in the spot. Okay, so you get an idea. Okay, and I will just follow this L of my photo for my embellishments. Okay, now I wanted to show something. Uh, this has um, the green that I wanted, and it had M, and so this was in May, and so it said March. So I just found a little sticker that said May, and that is a quick fix, my fr my, f my friends. Uh, that is a quick fix. Okay, so what do you do when you're doing something like this, and you can't find something to fill the space? What you do is then you find little things. Things to fill the space so what I wanted to show is I have a little space here because my bread's not big enough but I want to use up bread and I have a little bit over here so that's when you pull out the enamel dots and you take those little spaces and fill with enamel dots okay and I had another one here that's what you do okay so that's basically how my layout's going to be quick 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 and then I do have a couple other ones laying here because I have so much down here and I have a lot of text down here. And of course, Mr. Miyagi rides again. That's going to be there. Okay. And my journaling's only going to be a couple lines. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put something up here. So I have these little pieces. I'm not quite sure how they're going to go, but they were just some tucking pieces. So I will tuck them in somehow. And I love this flare that said totally happy because that is what I think about with my little bro um, because of the choices he's made in life. He's totally happy. And I'm just, don't you just love when you see your family members happy? I certainly do. And then, of course, you know, I probably could add a couple more enamel dots up there as well with that dark green. And so um, my journaling will probably just go up there. It's just going to be a couple lines uh, about him and his Mr. Miyagi truck. Oh, great gravy train. That's, that's sticking. Uh, and also how he calls it the clown truck. We call it the Mr. Miyagi truck. How he fixed it himself. He gets 50 miles per gallon, 50 miles per gallon on this Mr. Miyagi truck. And then I'm also going to talk about his personality a little bit because this is a guy who can fix anything. I mean, he, it just boggles my mind how he can fix everything. Yes. So I always say if I'm on a stranded island, I want my family, I want my siblings because there's nothing they can't do. I mean, they're just, they're just so creative and so smart and so intelligent. I mean, yeah, I think my parents did something right when we were little because they encouraged us. If you didn't know something, they didn't tell you. They said, go look it up. And I really think that was uh, something in our childhood that shaped who we are is that we don't rely on people to feed us information. We go learn it. Yes. And so what do we do in our family is we come, we become experts in things and then we go on to something else. We all have the raccoon syndrome in my family. Every one of us. And that little guy right there, he's got it probably worse of all. You think I got it? He's really got it. Just ask his wife. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that is my Mr. Miyagi layout about my little bro. I used a 7.5 by 12, a 7.5 by 12, and then this green was 3. What, did I say 3? Yes, a 3 by 12. But the 7.5 by 12, you can see that I'm covering up some of them. Uh, and it doesn't matter because this is just about a fast page. I don't need to, you know, save anything. I just wanted to use these scraps, okay? And then I cut off those branding strips. I'll use them as a little bit of a header up here just to give some weight because this is getting kind of bottom heavy and of course my journaling is going to go here so that is all i have for this scrap paper page so that means come back at lunchtime we're going to have a giveaway with more embellishments in that giveaway and then of course we're going to have another layout at 5 p.m and we're going to uh, do another scrap paper page and then also too something fun something a little special i'm going to do with my leftover scraps and then i think 
oh man I don't know what else stay tuned for the finished page I will have a close some close-ups and scrapbook today yes just take some time to play if you're not uh, in the frame of mind to sit and absolutely sit there and work on a page that's okay just go get some stickers some paper organize and play with them get some ideas uh, that type of thing and watch a lot of videos be inspired and don't forget to look at all the challenges and blogs and giveaways that's going on this weekend I have a video that talks about all the events and challenges uh, and so it uh, started before I think it was on Wednesday or so so look for that video and there's a lot of links in there about a lot of things that's happening uh, this weekend so definitely check that out so that's all I have for now so come back to RTS because you never know what we're gonna do bye